Hey everyone, if you guys are wondering how does the interview experience at Informatica or any top MNC which pays really well looks like, then this video is going to be for you. So welcome to another video. This is going to be one of the video in the series of the companies that I cracked or the companies that I interviewed for. So those who are new to the channel, I'll give a quick introduction that who am I? So my channel generally talks about DSA and design and I currently work at Microsoft and I have more than 2000 lead code uh, contest rating. I last year I was fortunate enough to receive 10 job offers and then I gave more than 100 interviews and uh, and then also I solved more than 3000 coding problems across all the platforms like lead code geeks for geeks. Now if you're new to the channel, I would recommend you watch at 1.5x. Uh, even if you're old to the channel, still watch at 1.5x. And we do have live stream at 10.30 p.m., right, which you can join. Uh, I've conducted close to 120 sessions, right? So this video, is we are going to talk about Informatica, right? Uh, so I appeared for Senior Software Engineer SD3, and I'm going to take, take everyone through the interview experience each round, how I prepared, how you guys should prepare, right, all of those things. Before I get started, uh, just to highlight, uh, how many rejections I faced. I got rejected at these companies and many more. And also I got tons of email rejections. And then these were the offers that I got and some more companies. So I've already created a video on Walmart, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, right? And Nutanix, feel free to watch that uh, if you're preparing for that. But if you're in college or if you're trying to switch, then this video is going to be helpful for you. So with that said, let's get started. Uh, so Informatica senior software engineer, right? And uh, generally, if you have three, three years of experience or two and a half or three years of experience, then I believe you should be eligible for this uh, role. Uh, okay, with that said, we'll go to the resume and application, right? So this is clueless me last year when I started, right? I was not aware of how much lead code you have to do, how much DSA you have to do, right? All of these kind of things, right? So that's where I started off. Uh, giving the interviews, I failed in some of the interviews during the start. I failed in a lot of the interviews and then eventually I started cracking, right? So uh, coming to first things first, right? So resume and application. So I have a resume video on my channel as well, but I'll tell I have one page Jake template resume, right? How did I apply directly on career portal, right? So every day I was waking up and applying to 10 to 20 openings right from various companies. I made a list. There is a video on the channel that talks about how you should apply, right? Please feel free to follow that. And then uh, directly on the career portal and then I received a OA link. And then no communication from recruiter yet, right? So I just received a um, OA link on my email ID. So it was plain straightforward. It was not like that. I applied today and I got a referral. I got a call. So you have to wait, right? Uh, so I, I believe I waited for a good amount of time. So then comes the online assessment, right? So online assessment, pretty straightforward. It comprised of two questions. Let's online assessment, uh, two questions, right? It was not just DSA. It was mix of uh, full stack development like development question and then you had a DSA question. DA question I would rate it from easy to medium where I would not call it. It was kind of medium level but little bit on the easier side right and then this was more of a front end question so I do have experience in rec little bit. I had, I had done internship work and also I had done why I worked for one year with react so I was able to write this development question as well right it was more of a front-end question and then dsa was again if you have practiced lead code right if you have done lead code 150 after doing a rigorous practice right after learning the basics and then you regularly participate in contest if i have to say like if you have a contest rating of close to 1700 you should be able to solve these questions and then it was kind of a b of a contest right and uh, then uh, if I have to rate myself, I would rate myself 9 out of 10, uh, cutting one marks for the online assessment. Uh, coming to the D, so one, once I got, once I cleared this, right, I got a call from recruiter that I have uh, cleared this and will be moving to next rounds. 
So in the next round, so I had first uh, DSA round. This was taken by like a senior level, like five plus or close to ten years of experience, right? Ten years of interviewer, right? And then uh, I got three questions basically. So I was asked three questions within sixty minutes. I think. The main reason for this was I was able to solve more questions, right? So one was first one was kind of lead code medium, uh, which I took around 15 minutes to solve, right? Then I was asked one lead code easy plus medium, right? Easy and then the medium, right? Medium was kind of the variation of that, harder variation of that. So here I would have taken like to around 20, 25 minutes, right? I was able to solve this one as well. Uh, overall, I was able to solve all of the three questions and I wrote the code for all of the three questions within 60 minutes. So I would rate myself 10 out of 10 because and also there were some discussions around the projects on the resume, right? Uh, basic resume discussion. So these are the things again, if you want to pass DSA rounds at tech companies, right? Uh, those who really way pal for sd1 if they pay around 15 lp right if you want to crack those companies what i would recommend you is practice daily on lead code contest give virtual lead code contest right i say this in every video but still those who are new i want to highlight this and then uh, you should do lead code 150 couple of times this is if you already have a basic understanding of dsa right if you are starting new then first learn a language. There is a video on the channel which goes by 3000 coding problem solved. So probably you can give that a go, right? So you will get more insights in that one. So 10 out of 10, nothing in DSA round, you kind of know that whether you will be passed or whether you will be rejected, right? It's pretty much hit or a miss round. Uh, then DSA 2 round, right? This was again, this was probably by someone with five plus year of experience or like six your interviewer right um and then what was the question question was not from lead code not from any of that it was like a customized customized question right again if you have a basic understanding here it was i would say to i would call it little bit on the harder side lead code hard plus implementation heavy right so you sh you need to have a lot of practice on lead code. It's not like that you solve 100 problems. Some people get with 100 problems. There is a luck factor always involved. It's not like always if you are very good with DC, there will be minor bad luck that, okay, you might not be able to clear the rounds, but we need to reduce that luck percentage, right? So that reduction we can do with more rigorous lead code practice, right? So I would say that 300 questions is a good mark. So you should solve around that. Again, more details can be found in this, right? So lead code hard and it was implementation heavy. Uh, and then you should do design questions on lead code, right? Like design, LRU cache, file system. These kind of systems will help you in answering these kind of questions, right? It was not one of these, but close enough, right? And then I got a lot of follow-ups on the above question. And overall, I would say it was like eight of eight point five out of ten because interviewer was kind of helping me out as well, but not that much, right? Uh, it was like kind of a discussion. Then I was doing the main part of that discussion. Ninety percent I was handling, and then there was it. Here I was the one who was leading the interview uh, the whole time, right? Uh, and then here I was little bit um, confused that maybe I'll not get a call, maybe I'll get a call, right? Not not really sure of it but then um, one more thing that i'll add here is that uh, generally after these rounds right you'll see that in lateral hiring there is a silence from the recruiter right so there could be silence from the recruiter so let me increase this font little bit so there could be a scenario where you are not getting a call from the recruiter right so uh, feel free to send like weekly reminders, right? Every week, every Monday, you can call. I did that. I you can mail them, uh, mail them, or call them if you have their number. Right? They are generally busy, so they are generally busy. So it's not like that. They are waiting, right? They are waiting for 
you should not wait for them. You should always call them, right? Uh, then after that, so I had a hiring manager around. So this was in person. Uh, this was, I think, probably I had very less in person rounds, but this was one of the in person round, in person interview, right? With I would say close to 15 to 20 EOE interview manager, right? So, and then uh, it was most of a resume discussion, resume discussion, and then a high level design problem. Right. Again, for high level design problem, what I would recommend you is do educative course, uh, educative system design course, right? It is cheap and best. And uh, if you're already working as SD1, if you are in college, right? Let me highlight that I get this question a lot. So if you're in college, system design is not uh, really something that you will get in interviews, you will be played around these two rounds, right? If you're in college, later a little bit of low level design can come up, but not high level design, right? It would be already on your resume discussion, not outside that. That's my opinion, right? But if let's say you're SD1, you're already probably having some job, then this educator system design course, it's close to 500 rupees. You get access to 90 courses. So that's worth it, right? Again, my opinion, I'll share some free resources as well. So I have done both, right? I have done paid also. I've done um, free resources as well. So LXU's book and then, uh, then GitHub repos I'll show in the end. So this was pretty much it. I, again, this was in person, so it went really well. I was able to kind of answer all the questions on my resume. So star method you have to follow. Follow star method. And also I was very comfortable with the interviews because by this time I gave this interview, I had already cracked two, two to three companies, Walmart, Flipkart, I had already cracked. And then coming to HR round, so this was H around basic culture check. Basic culture check. And then uh, uh, like salary expectations, et cetera, et cetera, right? So these kind of check things were checked in this again. This was in person. In person. And uh, eventually after a couple of days, I got a call from the recruiter that, okay, you have been selected and they are looking at to move with the offer and coming to some numbers. So the base range was around 30, 28 to 30 LP. That's the base component that you get. And then the RSUs were around 30 USD. That is per three years. That is not per four year. Generally it is four year, but here it was per three years. So you can think of 10,000 RSUs that brings to close to, um, close to eight to 10 lakhs right per year. And then some joining bonus was also added and then your performance bonus, right? Overall, if you think of CTC, it was more than, I would say 55, but to be safer, I would have put 50 here. So that was my informatica interview. As I said, right, that was pretty much straightforward. I did not face difficulty in any of the round other than this DSA round two. So I would again suggest everyone, those who are contemplating whether we should do DSA, whether we should not do. If you want to crack uh, companies at MNC journal, journal right probability, if you want to increase that, and DSA is the best thing that you should do. Right, I have solved more than three thousand problems. You'll start loving that, right? So with that, I'll not increase the videos um, length more, but coming to the resources, right? So resources are really important. So I have added all of the resources here. So this link you'll find in the description. Uh, and then here you'll see all of the resources that I have personally used, personally gone through. So in this, uh, I have added all the low level design, high level design and data structures, and then uh, coding social profiles. If you want to connect with me one on one, you can connect with me. And other than that, uh, so I would like to highlight a couple of things. So if you want to go with educative, you are okay. This is again for SD, uh, those who have two years of experience or one years of experience, right? If you are in college, I would not recommend you, but let's say you don't really care about money, then you can go with this. But if you are in college, I would not recommend you have to study. You don't have to study so much of a system design. Things might change later, but as of now, no, you don't have to study so much on the system design. Just your resume project should be good. 
but if you are let's say one year or two years per experience this this amount per month is really good investment why because i'll personally tell you two courses that i have gone through this is important for high level designs so if i show you the content here right you can see distributed cache distributing logging distributing task scheduler distribute design youtube and all right i i can say that these are so much so much popular questions and i have personally faced these questions in the interviews and i have also read so many articles on medium where people have directly got a problem from this right so this distributed cache is a really popular problem so they have got a distributed pub sub is a really um, popular problem right so the problem is generally from these questions only or a variant of this right so this is really important now coming to low level design i did not have a low level design round in informatica but i did have that in uber right so that is where i failed that in uber just to highlight because i was not able to properly draw a class diagram and so this is where again i would recommend this both the courses you will get with one so one subscription only so but the high point that i want to highlight is right you can see all the class diagram that each component of class diagram how it is designed right so this is this content is really good and it is definitely worth more than 500 rupees but still i would say that you can use that right now coming to some these are like paid things you have to pay 500 right um, and then coming to free resources right if you are struggling with consistency i have seen a lot of people those who are struggling with consistency this is a coding channel that challenge that you can take part in right so select your language go to this i'll again attach the link in the description and then click on play and then you will get a rank and then you will also have a streak right so if you win this contest you will get prizes like you'll get some swags and also you'll be eligible for premium membership of uh, educative also so anyway you are building your consistency right so it is always good to solve problems on different pattern so i see this is a graph problem feel free to give it a go right feels like a topological sort i am not solve this but looking from the description it feels like a topological stool again i don't want to increase the time of this video feel free to uh, let me know in comments if you like the content or if you have any suggestions right if you find it helpful feel free to subscribe and share as well thank you so much guys bye take care have a nice day